Hey guys, this time on Tim Talks Audio, plug in chains and setting favorites. Everybody has their go to selection of plugins when they're mixing or mastering. We find ourselves going back to our favorites because of the way they sound, because of the workflow within them, and because of our learning experience with them. Creating your own plugin chains and setting your own favorites is a good way to quickly and easily grab something you're used to and get the sound you're going for. Studio One also comes with quite a number of pre-made effects chains using Studio One effects, but they also give you the opportunity to create your own chains using third-party effects as well. Let's take a look at our drums here and throw some effect chains on. I'm gonna to go to my snare track and show you how to pull up the chain that PreSonus made. In your inserts, you use the down arrow, and then you'll see everything is subdivided into folders, drums, guitar, instruments, so on and so forth. Like I said, we're in our drums, so let's open up just a rock snare drum chain. This puts on a compressor and then an EQ with suggested settings that of course you can go in and manipulate. And here's the EQ curve within that chain. But like I said, this is one of the ones that PreSonus made for us beforehand, and we can make our own. To make your own, start off by putting plugins the old fashioned way, one at a time, using the plus symbol, and adding them in whatever order you want. I did this using third-party plugins because you can make an effect chain using either the PreSonus ones or third parties. When making your chain, keep in mind that it will store not only which plugins are in the chain, but the settings of the plugins within that as well. I'll make some drastic changes to some of my plugins so you can see what I'm talking about. Here's my EQ, and let's cut a lot of the low mids and boost a lot of the low ends. We'll throw a crazy ratio on and add some top, just a bit. Then we can go into our compressor and really push this hard and drop the output. Change our ratio, our attack and release times. Then I'm gonna open up a transient designer as well and give it a little extra smack and pull some sustain. Now that I've got my settings where I like them, I can go back to the channel on the down arrow and store the effect chain. When you select store, you then get this dialog where you can name that new chain that you've created. I'll call this Tim Talks Audio Smack. Then when we open the menu again, we now see it populates in our list, not in a folder, but as a custom. I can then take this new chain with all of its settings and put it onto any other track. And it pulls in my third party plugins with all the same settings as stored in the effect chain. Now let's see how to set some of our favorites. Cause maybe sometimes you don't need an entire chain, you just need that one go-to. We'll close this guy out. If you have one or multiple plugins that you just need a single instant of and you wanna quickly grab them, you can set them as a favorite. Once you drop it into a channel, you can right click on the plugin and select favorite. It doesn't do anything initially, but if I right click again, I can now see that favorite is checked. If I want to, on my Tom track, I can insert a plugin and here under favorites is that third party plugin, or it can be a PreSonus plugin. That puts those plugins right on top so you can go into each channel and quickly drop in some of your favorite plugins. When you add plugins to your favorites, it will drop them in alphabetically. That's all for now. If you found anything in this video informative, please hit the like button. If you have a question about Studio One or any of its workflows, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.